Welcome to a very special edition of Designing Faces, Pet Faces. The show that's all about you and your space and how they relate to your pets. I'm Debbie Marie. When we say spaces for pets, we really mean it. As today, we are adopting a shelter, Big Dog Ranch Rescue, a no-kill shelter that sits on 28 acres of land in Wellington, Florida. And when designing spaces is involved, you know we're going to have all great things in store. We'll team up to give their food pantry a much-needed makeover. Plus, we'll help pet owners learn how to diagnose and treat pet allergies. We'll show you how to avoid over-vaccinating your pets. And we'll renovate and modernize their much-needed surgical room. Plus, we're going to follow some families who are leaving home with a new family member, just like this little one. So stay with us right here on Designing Spaces, Pet Spaces. Today, Designing Spaces is adopting a shelter. We are at the Big Dog Ranch, where the medical team spends a lot of their time working on getting the dogs healthy, and one way is through vaccinations. We are joined by Dr. Ron Schultz, a world-renowned leader in vaccine protocol, to show us how we can tell if a dog has been properly vaccinated. Dr. Schultz, thank you so much for joining us here on Pet Spaces, and we're joined by Dr. Traxler as well. We appreciate it. I'm pleased to be here. So let's get right into vaccinations. How important are they for our dogs? Well, vaccination is one of the most important medical procedures that dog will ever have. And it's especially important that he receives the core vaccines, which are distemper, parvo, adeno, and rabies. From the, from the get-go? From the get-go. Okay. Now, if we get a dog from a shelter and we're not sure if they're vaccinated, is there such thing as over-vaccination? There is, of course, with animals coming into the shelter not knowing whether they had ever been vaccinated before. Right. So with an antibody test that will look at antibodies to distemper, parvo and adeno, we can determine whether the dog has been vaccinated or not. For example, this test is called VaxiCheck. And the VaxiCheck is a test that you can run multiple dogs on this immunocomb can actually run 12 dogs at the wow, same time. Wow, perfect for a shelter. It is, and it only takes a very short period of time after you have the serum, about 30 minutes. This is an example of Coco, and Coco has immunity to adenovirus, which mm -hmm. is important, and canine parvo, but the immunity for distemper is really inadequate or there is no immunity that we can actually see. And so he would need to be revaccinated because okay. distemper is very important and we have to make sure right. that he's protected. Okay, and that's perfect because that shows you that he's not going to be over vaccinated, that Correct. he does need. Okay. Now, it, what if we get a puppy? When should we vaccinate? Well, puppies, you really shouldn't start them before six weeks of age. Okay. And ideally, you'll revaccinate about every three weeks. In the shelter, we actually recommend every two weeks. So that in that high-risk environment, you get immunity as quickly as possible. Now, are these tests done at home that we as pet owners do, or is this something done at the veterinarian's office? This would be something done at the veterinarian's office okay. or done in the shelter okay. when the animal arrives. And so at the veterinarian's office, it would be part of the annual wellness visit that every dog should receive. Okay, so it's not something we would need to ask. Uh, you may very well need to ask your veterinarian to test for antibody rather than automatically giving another vaccine okay. that isn't necessary. Well, lots of useful information. I mean, we all need to know that. So thank you so much for being here. And for our viewers that want to learn a little bit more, where can they go? They can go to vaccicheck.com and get more information about this test. Mm -hmm. 
This will help at the Big Dog Ranch? Yes, it will. Absolutely. I'm very excited. Wonderful. Well, thank you so thank much you for being well. here. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. We're also going to have a link to their website on ours at designingspaces.tv, so be sure to check that out. We would like to extend a heartfelt thank you to all of our sponsors, partners, and volunteers who teamed up for today to make this possible here at Big Dog Ranch. Well, I'm going to stick around and help out and, I don't know, maybe take home a little one of my own or two or three. Oh, my goodness. Look at that face. Thanks for joining us here on Designing Spaces, Pet Spaces. We'll see you soon. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.